We do want to take a live look now at the big board where we ended the day up some almost 300 points and it comes after a lackluster jobs report released on Friday led to a major stock market sell off on Monday. Yeah, and one day later, the big question was Monday's slide just a blip or are we facing some major unrest in our economy's future? That's what we would all like to know <laughs> right now. News 6 investigator. Uh, we have Donovan Myrie joining us now in studio to break down those numbers for us and how this may have all happened. Donovan. Matt and Lisa, the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and NASDAQ were all up about a percentage point. Um, I spoke with certified financial planner Nancy Heck this afternoon about what the sell-off means to the average person. Heck had some surprising answers to our questions. In the last couple of days, there's been market volatility. Yeah. Something to be concerned about, something to note, or something to not worry about? I would say not be concerned about it, not worry about it. We are sort of due for a correction, and it looks like now it's happening, so it's nothing to be concerned about. Is this a political thing, or is it just, as you said, a course correction? Well, it's trying to be sold as a course correction. Um, you know, there's still been comments that people are spending too much money. Um, I think people are spending too much money not because they have extra money to spend, it's because everything's more expensive. And I think the tide is starting to turn with the Fed in that direction that yes, people are spending more money because they have no choice. Do you think we're going to slip into a recession? I'm not feeling recession. I'm feeling maybe close to, but stopping a little before we officially get into that. But. Who am I, but a little <laughs> CFP. Nancy is much more than a little certified financial planner, and she certainly knows a lot more about the markets than I do. The main takeaway from market activity over the last few days is to look at the big picture. Don't micromanage your investment accounts. Look at them every month or every quarter to reduce your anxiety. And finally, Matt and Lisa, if nothing else, Monday's mini market meltdown may be the push that gets the Fed to start cutting interest rates. We've had 11 straight rate hikes from 2022 to 2023. A cut in interest rates by the Fed could be anywhere from one quarter to one half of a percentage point. Yeah, only look at your 401k when you hear headlines that the market hit a record high. There you go. <laughs> You'll yeah. feel great. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to do that thing. They say buy low and sell high, but yes. you want to do the opposite. It starts going down. Maybe I should get I'm, out You are right inclined. Now. Yeah, people yes. are inclined to do that, and then you're going to miss out when the market goes up this again. This is true. This is yeah. very true, yes. Thank you. Man. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.